Hi everyone, welcome back into My Chamber TV. We are the heartbeat of the Tampa Bay community and today we're very excited to be featuring the Safety Harbor Chamber of Commerce right here in the heart of Safety Harbor. I'm very excited because one of my favorite places ever, ever, is the Safety Harbor Resort and Spa. And we just happen to have our friend here, Lisa Margarone, to talk about it. You are Director of uh, Sales and Marketing over there, and I know you have quite a bit to share. Yes, absolutely. I'm the Director of Marketing at the beautiful Safety Harbor Resort and Spa. And um, as you know, we're right here in the heart of Safety Harbor, which is in the heart of Tampa Bay. So people from all over can come and visit us. And we just have so much to offer. It's such a fabulous place. You know, it really is. I was saying, sharing with you just beforehand some of the events that I've come to here. And uh, especially after being kind of closed down for a little bit, I, you must be booming with business now. We are, and we are so thankful, you know, after the um, whole ordeal that everyone faced in 2020, we're just really excited to welcome back our wonderful guests, our members, our locals. We're just thrilled. And um, like I said, there's so much to offer, whether you're coming for a resort stay or you're coming to enjoy our beautiful spa, our spa services, or just popping over for lunch or dinner. Um, we're just really happy that, you know, everyone's back on track and to welcome everyone back to our, our beautiful resort. Exactly. Now, I would love in this segment to share some of the different events that are happening over there and how you cater to possibly people that would like to come in and have an event for family affairs and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. What can we do to entice each of our viewers over there to come down and look you up, hook you up, and, and see where they can go? Well, um, as far as what we have to offer during the week, you know, of course, our Fountain Grill serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can come to our Tiki Bar anytime. Uh, we're open 11 to 7, where you can enjoy uh, refreshment on the water uh, or lunch or dinner. Um, and, of course, we have our amazing Sunday brunch, Tampa Bay's Best Sunday Brunch. Um, you can set up a spa service. Uh, we do have uh, live entertainment every weekend, both Friday and Saturday nights. We have uh, live music on our promenade, and we have a DJ by the swimming pool every Sunday. And we also are starting back, we were really famous pre-COVID for our nightly uh, music themed events in our lobby lounge and we're uh, Wednesday nights we're doing that bringing that back again with jazz Wednesdays but as far as hosting an event yes we have an amazing event group um, that can help you set up a wedding a business meeting a convention if you want to have someone's birthday party or a baby shower bridal shower whatever it is from a small intimate group to a large group we can accommodate as many as 350 400 inside and now with our beautiful waterfront promenade uh, you can host an event with four or even 500 people outside. I mean, our spaces are just gorgeous. You know, and you don't find that all of what you offer in in very many places around here. And it really is a focal point for Safety Harbor. Like I said before, I've attended many events, have had simple, intimate lunches and dinners there. And then it's really nice if... <laughs> Certainly, there's enough at Safety Harbor Spa to keep yourself busy, but the town in Safety Harbor, it's right here in downtown Safety Harbor. Now, how long have you been doing um, your marketing with the spa? I've been with the Safety Harbor Resort and Spa for five years, and as I mentioned, I'm the director of marketing, and I just love it there. It's a fabulous, it's really a fabulous place. And I also want to mention, a lot of people don't know this, but we are also a wellness spa Ooh, let's so, talk about yes, that which really is so so needed mm -hmm. especially after our covid crisis mm -hmm. um and we've always been a wellness spa because of course our spiritu santo natural mineral springs we have five springs that run under our property and all of the water that we use there is our natural mineral springs water 
but we have an amazing wellness for life program whether it's a, a four day or a seven day we have these wellness programs that we've had for years but we've really found that people have um you know because we've had so much stress with the covid crisis and we've had so many issues people are really looking for a place that they can go at, to for wellness and we address not only stress but weight and um, vitality energy and just overall wellness with nutrition and things like that we have certified trainers and uh, you can check out on our website there's all kinds of information about our wellness programs um, which is really kind of an you know an exciting piece of what we do that a lot of people don't know about. I'm really glad that you touched on that because I think after what we have gone through in the last year, year and a half, I think there's more people that are tapping into taking their wellness level to a higher level of Im immunization uh, naturally and reducing their stress, which right. impedes their immune system tremendously and lowers the immune system. And honestly, I, for one, live that lifestyle and have for well over 35 years. And what I would recommend to each and every one of you is to hop in the car, make an appointment with this gal. Come down and see what is happening at the spa. Because if you can reduce your stress, that obviously helps with your immune system. It does. And, and it's just a full circle. And what better way than to take, take time for yourself? If you're a caregiver, you must. It is a must for you to take some time for yourself. Thinking of giving a gift gift certificate, right? Oh, absolutely. What can we get for a, a good gift certificate that isn't out, uh, on the way to the moon or not? Well, it's fabulous, too, because we you can buy a, one of our gift certificates, one of our gift cards right online. You can go right to our website, nice. safetyharborspa.com. Nice. And there is a drop-down for gift cards. And we have every gift card imaginable. We have beautiful packages that we offer all year round. Of course, our Any Day Fun Day is fabulous because it's a 15-minute massage or facial, a spa lunch, and a glass of champagne, and it's so reasonably priced. I mean, you just won't find that kind of a deal anywhere. And uh, so that's one of our most popular. But it's amazing because so many people actually purchase our wellness programs online. So they are purchasing a gift card for a wellness program that they're in turn gifting to someone. Yes. Whether it's, you know, uh, a mom or dad or really whatever. We've even had um, some local corporations who have put their employees through our wellness programs, mm -hmm. which, you know, is really fabulous too. To your point of, you know, the stress can really weigh you down and this is an excellent way to you know either get yourself or someone you love or your employees kind of back on track we we get you back on track that's wonderful mm -hmm. i'm glad that you mentioned about corporations um i do find that uh word of mouth i hear that some of the corporations are stepping into that arena uh, more often to make their make their employees feel like it's a corporate family exactly Exactly. And we do partner, like I said, with a lot of local corporations mm -hmm. and, you know, um, with this wellness program. And our trainers are world class, world class. When you come to one of our wellness programs or even if you do our daily, uh, we have over a dozen daily classes. So if you have a guest pass or if you come to one of our and do a spa service, you are able to come for the service and stay for the day so you can participate in all of our daily classes which include um, Zumba and we have a lot of aqua water classes mm -hmm. which are really fabulous and um, so it gives you an opportunity to you know come for the service and stay for the day. Now that is very interesting. So it's, it's not necessarily a BOGO, but it is kind of if you're going to be able to go to the classes. And that way you get a chance to check them out and take it, just take a day for yourself or hook up with a sister or a girlfriend or something to, you know, just get away Absolutely. from the sameness Absolutely. of day in and day out. Absolutely. Or just come by our tiki bar and have a ice cold, uh, we have beautiful craft cocktails and 
hang out by the waterfront and you'll love it. It's really a fabulous place. I love it. I get to work in a place every day that smells like eucalyptus. I don't think it's work, my friend. No, it's that not. That is not work. Not when you love what I you know. do. I know. It's wonderful. I love it there. Th that is so fabulous. And I know that you you are a member of the Safety Harbor Spa, obviously. I mean, you're an icon here. That's worked pretty well, right? It has. Yeah. It has. Yeah. And we're so thrilled to be part of this vibrant town mm -hmm. you know it's it's the little town that has so much heart and so much energy yeah you know and we're really thrilled to be part of it it's exciting you know we came in here to uh, start the shoot at around nine o'clock this place was buzzing it was buzzing mm -hmm. everywhere your parking lot was full yes people walk in the streets and everything and it feels so good to do that to get it, back into yes, this yes it truly does well i have to tell you my friend lisa you are a delight and i know that you are definitely an icon over there and you make a big difference i can tell thank from you. your personality i can tell from your passion so thanks for coming on my chamber thanks TV. for having me and we're just thrilled and and this was lovely thank you thank you and thank you we'll be right back after this Hi, everyone. Welcome back into My Chamber TV. We are the heartbeat of the Tampa Bay community. I'm your host, Barbara Marville Kelly, and we are featuring the Safety Harbor Chamber of Commerce. We happen to have Priscilla Camacho. We were talking about the strength of your name, just like the yes. strength of a banker. Yes. You're not just any banker, my dear. Mm. I understand you captain the enterprise. Yes. So <laughs> let's talk this, about that. This is a true story for the people in the audience. So we have a next generation branch. It is remarkably beautiful. Imagine Starbucks, but with banking. Very open, tech table, a, a lounge for relaxation. It's amazing. And all that was beautiful. But then I heard it's a next generation type of branch. And I was like, oh, that's really interesting. And the name of my branch is The Enterprise. Oh, dear. So for anybody out there who's a Star Trek fan, this is my mecca. I can literally say oh, I, I captain the Enterprise. <laughs> so I want to get my little Captain Picard outfit. I want my communicator. And that's what I'm so excited about. You know, I thought you, it was me. You exude with excitement. Oh, okay. Yes. I don't know anybody that could ever exude excitement about banking. Tell me why you're so excited. So I am someone who operates always with integrity. If I'm not passionate about it, it's not something I can invest in and show that excitement around. And with Fifth Third Bank, it's such a beautiful company. Not only do they treat us amazing, but our number one purpose is to go out and make a difference. That's what they always say. How are you going to make a difference in our community today? Mm -hmm. How many friends did you go make? Whose lives did you impact? Mm -hmm. And that's where our business stems from. Um, we are huge with community investment as well. We are very big with Title I schools who really need that help, junior achievement, uh, women's battered shelters, um, the runaways. We participate with a lot of that, not only with giving the food, but that financial wellness piece because a lot of those people have that knowledge gap where they want to do good, they want to have those life changes, sure. but they're not sure exactly how to go about it or what's going to affect their credit in different ways. So that's where we come in. We do that financial wellness. We educate. We empower them through knowledge then we do our resumes hey let's let's review your resume together let's do a mock interview that way when these women go back out into the community they feel engaged and they're empowered and they feel like they really can go out and learn to stand on their own two feet same thing with schools you know it's it's generational gaps of wealth is what we're seeing so our parents work that that's where we come from you work hard right every day you go to work you show up you do everything you can but at the end, are we rolling over that wealth to our children? And again, a lot of that's just little gaps in that educational piece where we want to kind of fill those in and have everyone be successful, everyone reach their financial goals. Well, you know, you were really talking about how proud you are of the 
the community impact. And this resonates with me as well. I have been one of those women in between those little gaps mm -hmm. in the past. I managed to pick myself up by the bootstrap. Good for you. But after the last couple of years <laughs> that have, for some, impending doom, it doesn't have to be that way. Mm -hmm. So having the connections with the community, with a bank Definitely. like this, I love the sounds of it. Mm -hmm. So you engage and you must do workshops, do you? At the, we at, do Give me a so scenario. <laughs> give me a scenario. I'm out of work. I'm a single mom. Mm -hmm. What do I do? Where do I go? You come to us. That's where you go. <laughs> That's what you do. You're like, you know, I saw this Priscilla girl on this little community TV show and you reach out. So as an example, even during the beginning of COVID, um, everything was shut down. Every American was struggling for the most part. It's unprecedented times. Mm -hmm. And during that time, even though financial institutions were closed to have people coming in, we made over 1 million phone calls. Over 1 million during those wow. first few months. Wow. Yes. That was literally what we were doing. It was, hey, how are you doing? How have you been impacted by this COVID situation that we're going through? Mm -hmm. You know, what are you working towards? How your family doing and as resources came out we were calling on those as well hey this is now available you know there's a hiring workshop that's going on or the government's releasing this program i think you may qualify and that's having that one-on-one -on -one banking relationship because we really know our, our our customers um fifth third is growing that's our, our goal we aspire to get out there and build more branches and impact the community but for me it's really it feels like a community bank mm -hmm. there's no numbers it's hey how are you how have you been we're asking about your kids we're asking about the last trip that you took we know what your financial goals are and to have that person who's calling to say hey we made a plan for you to you know save ten thousand dollars because you have this home project coming up and there's priscilla calling hey it's been two months you set a goal to have 500 of that saved how are we pacing towards that do we need to adjust these goals and having someone hold your hand and say hey these are our goals now and i'm involved i'm engaged let me help you to me, that just makes a world of a difference. You know, that is, that is true, organic, and authentic teamwork. Yeah. And what you remind me of is, because I'm much older than you, I'm sure, but back, good, in, though. But <laughs> back in the day where everybody knew everybody. The, mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately, a lot of people knew everybody's business, but I give you maybe <laughs> a little too much information. Yeah. But as far as the bankers go, and, and even... Uh, Gosh, the the meat market and the bakeries, everybody back in the small towns, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And we're actually in a, in a pretty decent sized town here, but it has that small town feel. And what you're describing is having that relationship with every single one of your customers. Yeah. And during COVID, you didn't sit still waiting for business. Mm -hmm. You nailed it. You went after it. Mm -hmm. And over a million calls, over a million. phone calls, this gal made mm -hmm. with her team to reach out to people like I yourself. I wish I was that also it was the bank as a whole my team did make a million but uh, every branch contributed to that That's for us wonderful. to get that information out there that is so wonderful yep. let's talk about your location yes you're on enterprise which yes. is right around the corner here literally you'll find me in five minutes from this location so it's brand new next generation like i was mentioning to you folks out there but what i really would love to convey during my time here is safety harbor is such a beautiful close-knit community mm -hmm. we really want to be able to engage and get to know you all on an individual level um, and also to be able to say, hey, this is how we can contribute. So yes, we have that financial education, that empowerment, that getting involved, how can we help? But also on that consumer side, on that individual level, we have something that's called momentum banking. And for me, it's amazing. It's so exciting. So imagine an account where you don't have minimum balances, you don't have fees. If you go negative, you're not gonna get that immediate overdraft fee. We give you 24 hours without charging you that overdraft fee. You have 11.59 p.m. the next day. If you have overdraft protection set up, typically there's a 12 to $15 transfer fee. That's gone too. And then we have early pay on top of that. So if you get paid on a Friday, how would you like to get paid up to two days earlier? That is huge for families, guys, to be able to say, hey, oh, I got paid on Wednesday. I got paid on Thursday. That makes a big difference. That's the difference between needing a cash advance, having to go to AMSCAT, get those fees, get those interest rates or not. And that's where we come in. So it's very, very beautiful. We have amazing promotions as well. If you do want to come visit me, I would love to meet you in person. Our, Like I said, our accounts are completely free. We'll have an in-depth conversation, work towards your financial goals. But also, if you set up your direct deposit with us, immediately that's going to get you $250. 
with potential to earn up to 600. So please, you know, what I say makes us special is that relationship. Banking is us as your personal banker, but it's nice to have a little bit of money in your pocket too to kind of get that relationship kicked off. So please, anyone, I welcome you. We'd love to meet you in person. 3029 Enterprise Road East, come meet the captain of the enterprise <laughs> you have to meet the captain of the enterprise <laughs> you are all that in a bag of chips God, thank i mean you. you could be here all day long singing the praises of your bank it's and amazing. but it's so genuine and it's yeah. so authentic how long have you been with them five years almost six five years almost mm -hmm. six hey there's and, and right yep. in, in part of that was you know what mm -hmm. oh yeah right yeah. and and i know you had your challenges we all have but oh, yeah. you know it's how we come out on top really mm -hmm. and Everybody, I don't care who it is, low income to the high, high income, everyone has been affected in this last oh, yeah. year and a half. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And it's how we reach out to the community. Like you said, mm -hmm. your community impact is what really, really is, is a big star for you guys. Definitely. I mean, like above and beyond five star. Mm -hmm. Now, are you on Enterprise or uh, what's the cor what's the uh, cross McMullen street? McMullen booth. So you're right. You are right off of McMullen Right around. Yep. Oh, okay. I got here okay. in five minutes today. Oh, that's, that's Amazing. perfect. That's mm -hmm. perfect. And being a member of the chamber certainly can't hurt, right? Definitely not. I have to say, it's been such a great experience. Um, everyone's so welcoming, genuine, wants to introduce you to everyone. So this chamber has been a beautiful experience for us. So thank you so much. Oh, that's really great. And we're so glad you came on My Chamber thank TV you. as I well. Thank you. I appreciate the invitation. Yeah, well, it's nice to be able to bring the community to our residents and even other members of the chamber because we, we really want businesses to shine in a additional ways of marketing mm -hmm. and uh, being able to come on the show and talk about what you have to offer and everything. It's almost like introducing yourself with a one-on-one -on -one, mm -hmm. sort of a pre-meet and greet, yes, right? Definitely. I think you are absolutely fabulous, Captain. Thank you. Captain, <laughs> Captain, Captain, I like it. Captain Enterprise. <laughs> Next time I see you, I want to see you in your garb. I want That's my plan. I want a communicator I, and yes. I want the outfit with yes. the four stars for captain. Do it. I can't wait. Do it. <laughs> we'll do some do it do some uh, headshots with yes. it. I mean Businesses are looking for different ways to communicate with people, right? There you go. And didn't you say it's a different generation? It next generation, yeah. Next generation. What's the age group of that? Everyone. It's everyone. Inclusive. Thank if you, you like warm conversations, um, if there's a coffee, tea, wine bar, we have our tech table set up, our lounge, and for our small businesses in the area, which I Perfect. will be coming to see you. Perfect. Feel free to hold events there. It's a beautiful space. So if you Get, need that networking, come see me. Give Priscilla a call. You're going to love her. Yes. Thanks for being there. Thank, Thank you. you. My pleasure. Hi, everyone. Welcome back into My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of the Tampa Bay community. We're down in Safety Harbor, right downtown here, and we're actually featuring some of our business owners, and I'm excited to introduce, it's all I can do to hold myself back from nothing bunt cakes, and we have Chip Funk with us, and we're going to be talking about your funky cakes. They're so beautiful. I, I, can't, I It's like I can't help myself. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. We were just talking about how fabulous and popular these have been and you started back in 2017 right yeah we opened in south tampa in 2017 it is a national franchise mm -hmm. um, and we own the south my wife and i maureen own the south tampa location and we opened in april of 2017 and we're excited to be coming to clearwater that is really exciting tell us what makes these so different because they look so yummy and I have one hidden right here that is going right to my stomach in just a moment. Well, I think the thing that makes them so yummy is 
uh, they are incredibly moist cakes and that's kind of our secret that's our passion um, and when you taste them you just know the difference between this cake and another cake well you know the crew was talking about this before the show I've been talking all about that is what makes them so different because I've never really been into bunt cakes never really made them at home I just couldn't figure out the whole process with yeah. that but um, when you have something that's a little bit different it really gets your attention and when we do the home shows over in Tampa, they're telling me that they, they go right to your table yeah. and yeah, scoop we, them up. Yeah, we've, we've done lots of events. Uh, that's, that's just something that my wife and I like to do uh, is get out in the community um, and, and, and share the joy that this brand really uh, provides. Uh, we do a lot of events here in Safety Harbor. Um, Third Friday, we're always, we always have a booth, and so we're, we're happy to, to, to spread the joy. That is so exciting. Let's talk about these. Now. Let's talk about the flavors okay. and how you got started with it. Yeah. So um, in our bakery, we sell four sizes of cakes. They're demonstrated here. This is an eight inch cake, a 10 inch cake. Uh, we have uh, buntlets, which are our, our smallest individual cake. And then we have buntinis, which we sell by the dozen. Uh, and we, we bake these cakes in nine different flavors all the time. Really? Nine? Nine, nine different flavors. Okay, I got to hear them all. All right, so this is the big test. So chocolate chocolate chip, red velvet, lemon, white chocolate raspberry, pecan praline, confetti, vanilla, marble, and then we always have a rotating flavor oh. um, every month. And uh, uh, so depending upon when you stop in the bakery, we might have a unique flavor. Uh, some of the real popular ones that we have are uh, strawberries and cream is mm. always a, a big hit. Mm. In the fall, we bake pumpkin, uh, always a crowd pleaser. Um, and uh, so depending upon what time you stop in at the bakery, we might have a different flavor, featured flavor for you as well. We also offer a gluten-free option, oh. which is a uh, chocolate chip cookie flavor. That's the, that's the flavor that we bake. Oh, nice. So people yeah. that are gluten intolerant, they, yeah. they can still stop in. Did you guys yeah. hear that? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I, I was asking John, who our producer, main producer extraordinaire, he was telling me his favorite is lemon. Yeah. So... I had to pipe up and throw hints about the lemon, and guess what I have? I have the lemon. I said, is it really lemony? Because I don't like anything unless it's really lemony. So I'm going to put it to the awesome. test just for the heck of it. So lemon is my wife's favorite flavor. Mm. And so if you ask her what cake to choose, she mm. would always tell you lemon. And uh, all of our cakes are crowned with our signature cream cheese frosting. Mm. It's the only kind we make. Um, and... That's that's what adorn uh, uh, tops all of our cakes. And this cream cheese is so creamy. And it, John's right. This is really lemony. And what a nice combination of the two. Yeah. Mm, now I just need a cup of coffee. <laughs> Where's Starbucks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so great. Yeah. I, I I tell you, this this really makes having a dessert an experience. Yeah. You know, it's not just grab a cupcake or a donut or anything. Yeah. This is where you want to take your time, sit back, relax with some friends, and enjoy and savor the flavor because there's nothing, nothing like this. Yeah, we, we absolutely want to help people celebrate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And as you can see from our handcrafted decorations on top of the cakes, uh, we're all about spreading joy. Uh, the buntinis are perfect to bring to a dinner party. Um, if you're gifting teachers or gifting, uh, you know, uh, you know, a, a client, uh, you know, bringing them what we call a tower of bunte uh, of buntlets, which we can, uh, as you can see here, I've, uh, we can do up to three cakes mm -hmm. in a mm -hmm. uh, in a tower. Um, we can do one, two, or three. And then and we, we have can, the, the little the yeah. two twofer. Okay, yeah. and then what's also nice is you also, also can get a, a little cup for happy yeah. birthday along with just for one person. Why yeah. not, right? So a single. It, in our bakery, while, while it is called Nothing Bun Cakes, we do sell a little bit of retail in the front of the bakery. So, um, you know, if, if uh, we have coffee mugs and things like that that you can uh, include uh, in the packaging with your... We want to be. We also sell balloons, so we want to kind of be your one-stop shop for spreading joy. One-stop shop is definitely for sure, and I can't think of anything better than giving something that is quality, and it tastes so good. You have to really try these. And now, when is the Clearwater store opening? When is that opening up? So uh, right now, it's targeted for mid-August. 
Um, uh, so our fingers are crossed. We don't we don't experience supply chain issues, which is a tough thing right now. Um, but that's the plan. It's under construction. If you drive by, uh, you'll see uh, the uh, the building is painted. Uh, we've got our signs up there. Um, so uh, it's coming along. We're hoping for uh, for August, maybe by my birthday. We'll oh, see. Oh, when's your birthday? <laughs> my birthday's August twenty fourth. Oh, so how hoping, cool that would be, yeah, right? So we're hoping for uh, uh, for a birthday opening. Um, but we will then have our grand opening. We'll soft open in August, uh -huh. and we'll have our grand opening. Uh, right now, we're targeting October second to have kind of our grand opening celebration. Well, my birthday is October third, well, so there. there. So we'll both celebrate, <laughs> right? You know, talking about birthdays, what kind of lead time do we need to place an order? for a birthday or a shower, baby shower, wedding? You do weddings? Yeah, we do. We do. Uh, brides use us a lot. So, okay. Uh, generally, and one thing that I will uh, I'll share with you is, is the frosting that you see on these 8 and 10 inch cakes are what we call our signature petals. Oh. Um, uh, we also have a different frosting op application, um, which is a drizzle. And that's generally what brides will use uh, for weddings. So brides will use us for a lot of different things. We can tear the 10 and the 8 inch cake and that can be the cake that they cut. Oh yeah. And then uh, generally they'll buy several flavors of Buntinis for their guests. And so, uh, you know, it, it just makes for a nice, uh, uh, a nice kind of unique um, uh, impression for it's, your guests. Yes, so. it's definitely, definitely unique. And I can just, I can only imagine some of the different presentations that you're doing just based on this. Now, what was this, was this done for like fall as we go into the fall or is, is it just a one of the designs that you just yep. put together and so we, we made have, a splash? Yeah, so the, these are birthday decorations okay. that I brought today. All right. Um, but we have themed decorations. Uh -huh. um, uh, generally speaking, there's a new theme decoration uh, or multiple sometimes for like for Christmas, we usually have multiple different decorations uh, that we'll handcraft and put atop the cake if uh, if you choose to have them on there. Gosh, I can't stop smiling since I heard you were going to be here. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking, oh my goodness, these are really incredible. And what's nice about this is you have the options. Sure. You go from small to really large, or you can do a two-tier if you want to. And if you're thinking in terms of giving a really gift that keeps on giving, especially in a wonderful memory, this is the way to do it. Talk yeah. about putting a, a happy smile on <laughs> people's faces. Now, you're also a member of the Safety Harbor Chamber of Commerce. Correct. How have you engaged with that? So we're relatively new in the chamber. Okay. Um, and we look forward to, uh, to working with them uh, a lot more. But as mentioned, we do a lot of the events. We've mm -hmm. done an art festival just recently here um, over on the water. Uh, we do Third Friday. Um, and uh, we've done an Italian festival that was here a little bit earlier. So uh, we really like to get out and be in the community. We're big. Uh, Maureen and I, uh, Maureen and I, do a lot of events around the area, and so we'll, we we look to be very active in, in supporting the chamber and supporting Safety Harbor. Well, you have plenty to get involved with here yeah. because you're so right. There are so many events mm -hmm. that are done, and we're actually at the Chamber of yeah. Commerce office. This yeah. is the Chamber. <laughs> of Commerce, Safety Harbor Chamber yeah. of Commerce, right here. Yeah. And so that's exciting as well. It's right in the heart. Yeah. You know, it's really the heartbeat of the community, as yeah. we say, the chamber. And the turnout at, at events the, here oh, are isn't incredible. It? I know. And you feel so good coming to yeah. this area because it's, it's like a, a hometown, like yeah. hometowns are meant to be. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, this is very exciting to have this and, and Chip, you're a doll for bringing these in. And <laughs> I thank you for coming on My Chamber TV sure. and bringing these to show everybody because a picture is really worth thousands and thousands of words. But when you taste these, I tell you, you will never have tasted anything like this unless you've tried this before. <laughs> and maybe you have. Maybe you tried one one flavor. But let's talk about the flavors in the last few seconds. Now, okay. these we have here are? So this is chocolate chocolate chip, the 8-inch cake. The 10-inch cake is also a chocolate chocolate chip. Uh, I've brought our standard assortment. So if you come into our bakery, we always have a standard assortment of Buntinis ready to go. While you can customize if you have a few minutes to wait, our standard assortment is uh, three chocolate chocolate chip, three white chocolate raspberry, three red velvet, and three lemon. Those are the top selling cakes in, in our, uh, or the top selling flavors. Sounds then, good to me. Yep. Uh, and sounds good. These are, these are red, uh, white chocolate raspberry, red velvet, and chocolate chocolate chip. So there's, it's, uh, those are our, our generally awesome. big sellers. Thank yep. you.
can't wait. There's more. You need to go and see. Check it out for yourself. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thank Thanks. you, my friend. Thank you. Enjoyed right. it. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Welcome back into My Chamber TV. We are the heartbeat of the Tampa Bay community. I am your host, Barbara Marville Kelly. Thanks so much for joining us. Today, we are featuring the Safety Harbor Chamber of Commerce. Our first guest happens to be Tony Calamano. Did I get your name right? You did. That just flows so nicely. Hey, thank you. I'm excited to have you on the show today because you're with Bay Care Health Plans, and you're going to be talking about the BayCare Plus program. And I happen to have BayCare, so I want to personally know even more about that. And you're going to separate what's out there in the industry, in the marketplace with healthcare, and making things really a little bit easier for patients, right? That's correct. So let's talk about that. Well, thank you again for having me this morning. Again, my name is Tony Calamano. I'm a captive agent with BayCare Plus. I like to talk a little bit about the history of BayCare Plus, how this all unfolded. Uh, Ten years ago, Steve Mason was the president of, of of BayCare Plus uh, and uh, of BayCare. And he had this vision of why isn't there a healthcare system here in our Tampa Bay market offering a Medicare Advantage plan? So yeah, we had a good foundation. We have several hospitals throughout the Tampa Bay area. We have a home health, we have imaging lab, but we couldn't do it alone. So we had to go out and get the blessings from the other healthcare systems in the area, uh, Tampa General, uh, HCA, Advent, uh, Bayfront. We also have Moffin in the network. So with that said, uh, they got together they, and uh, we put the plan together. It's been, this will be the fourth year that we're uh, offering the BayCare Plus Medicare Advantage plan. We are the only community-based Medicare Advantage plan. When I say that, it's BayCare is in our community. It's who we know, who we trust. Uh, currently, we have around 3,000 specialists in the network, over 500 primary care. Uh, the members that are enrolled in the plan are happy. They're happy that there is a community-based Medicare Advantage plan here in their neighborhood that they're familiar with uh, here in our Tampa Bay market. Well, you know, I, I wanted to talk about that too because we were just touching base before the show. And, you know, patients are no different than a customer. When it comes to customer service and being able to have hands-on, being able to have somebody there at your fingertips makes a big difference to lead you every step of the way. Absolutely. And as I mentioned to you in my own personal family, we've We've never really needed anything until just as of late. Mm -hmm. And so we found that BayCare was right there for us and we get involved. So separating it from the other programs mm -hmm. out there, mm -hmm. what are some of your favorite points? And how does that make a difference with a patient? Well, that's a great question. And I really, I really uh, enjoy when folks ask me that because that is something that we really do here with our BayCare Plus members is we, we are here for our customers, our members. Uh, you're not going to be talking to a uh, person in a foreign country outside of our Tampa Bay market. You're dealing directly with me. Actually, I like to tell members that enroll with our plan, please utilize my number, call me if there's a hiccup, and let me be part of your experience. Because ultimately, the experience that I want that you to have with our plan is what I explained to you when we go over and we meet face-to-face. Uh, -face. So the customer service component here in our Tampa Bay market is... That's exactly what it is. Where you're dealing with someone here in your community that's familiar with who you are. Mm. You know, you mentioned a hiccup. Let's paint a picture for our patient. Give us an example for a hiccup that happens. So you deal with this on a regular basis. You've been in this industry for seven years, four with BayCare. Mm -hmm. So you really have a handle on things. What is what is it a scenario for some of us patients? That's a good one right there. Because I just recently had one on Monday where I, I got back. There was a um, I was got a call in reference to someone that was having an issue with imaging, saying that they didn't get the, the authorization wasn't submitted. So I got on the phone, spoke with the person who pushes those referrals through, and was, it was addressed that day. So 
community-based again local you're having that component where it's going to get addressed very fast as opposed to having to wait several weeks sometimes months to get something resolved you know i'm, I'm going to just cut to the chase and give my own testimonial to exactly that same point and we mentioned that just before the show is getting things going i had to bring my husband home from the hospital and I picked up the phone, I made a couple of phone calls, and home health care made it happen very quickly, was out there by the time I brought him home from the hospital. And those are the things that can be critical, especially if you have a loved one that's in the hospital that has had serious operations or issues or whatever. We're not trained unless, you know, you're a doctor yourself or mm -hmm. you're a nurse or nurse practitioner, and we have that in our family, but not readily available in our home. That's correct. So you're saving time and you're really adding to improving the health and the recovery of patients, Absolutely. I would guess, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. One thing also worth knowing is that, you know, with our BayCare Plus, we, you know, we do have three plans here in our community. We have uh, very competitive plans. Uh, we even have a rewards plan that offers a give back to your Medicare Part B. Being that we are a plus plan, we also have hearing, vision, we have meals in some of our plans, travel benefits if you leave Tampa or if you leave the country you're covered. Uh, it's, uh, it's a plan that's geared to really complete your health care picture if you are on Medicare or if you are a disabled person also, you're, this is a plan that is definitely something that you should uh, consider. You know, it doesn't seem like you've left anything out of the loop. Mm -hmm. You brought everything full circle so that it's complete, it's total, it's beneficial for you. And I know that BayCare has been calling me about the BayCare Plus, but I'm already happy with what I do have. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to finding out even more about that. Mm -hmm. Now, you've been a member. BayCare mm -hmm. has been a member with the... Uh, Chamber of Commerce. That's correct. How is that working for you? Working very good. It's actually the meetings that we have uh, periodically uh, that allows us to get together with our community and really help each other grow our business. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Especially in this industry, I know it seems like that the whole COVID scenario mm -hmm. comes up no matter where you go, no matter who you talk to, but it's a fact of life. Absolutely. And so I'm guessing that today with the challenges that we've had mm -hmm. and losing staff at hospitals, at the, the, the doctor's offices mm -hmm. and all, that presents a, even an additional challenge for you in this industry. Absolutely. How, can you just touch on that a little bit? Well, that's an important point because during the annual enrollment, which starts in October, we offer these meetings for our community folks that are interested in going out and seeing what their plans are out there. So this year we had, a, you know, the attendance was low. It was very low compared to our previous years where we had folks being able to come out and just be around larger crowds. So mm -hmm. that was one of the mm -hmm. big things that really impacted us uh, during this, uh, what, the, what they call ROY, the rest of the year. We've been limited also with our presentations and we're doing most of our business has been just being on the phones, word of mouth, again, the chamber, being mm -hmm. able to network and having other folks say, oh, I got a friend that might be interested in your plan locally. And um, that's been pretty much our environment this past year. Tony, do you find that this is a good thing from as a result of what we've all been through where you're getting maybe even a closer relationship with your your patients or it it seems to me that i'm i'm getting that you've always had that relationship maybe it's taken it to a higher level i i do it checks in I, it, what if anything it's come out of that is that the folks are just that i've spoken with are very very happy with the plan because when there's access it there's no access issues they're able to see their doctors um and people have to be patient during this time you know just yeah. the, if there is a delay in something with uh, an appointment that you know we will definitely be taking care of it but it's, right. it's been it's a challenge but we're, we're getting through it yeah and i'm glad to hear that as well because when you when you have the need you have the need mm -hmm. and i'll be the first one to say that I, i'm not always as patient as i would like to be i mm -hmm. always pray for more patience Absolutely. because in the times that we've never ever been in this is a whole new world for all of us, Absolutely. including you out there. So you want to work with people that are on the cutting edge of what's happening mm -hmm. in the world today and addressing issues and not, I mean, not everyone is on point with this. Absolutely. I think you know it and I know it and yep. we see that. Mm -hmm. We see it in the hospitals, we see it at the doctor's office, we see it at urgent cares. And so we've had to adjust to the conditions that prevail after this pandemic. Absolutely. I, and you know, and now they're talking about another wave mm -hmm. coming. 
So what do you have to say about that in the last 90 seconds? Well, <laughs> or I, or I, are you speechless I like well, I, I am? I, I, I don't am know speechless. what to say. I hope that, I hope that the, the, it's, we're optimistic and we can have a, overcome this challenge. Uh, and, you know, I'm looking forward to the annual enrollment that starts here in the next few months. Uh, we'll be able to display our plans starting October 1st. But the folks that are looking currently, um, please reach out to me. I'll be able to go over our plans with you. Again, we're the only non-for-profit healthcare system offering a non-for-profit Medicare Advantage plan. It's a local um, Medicare Advantage plan. It's who you know, who you trust. Please reach out. That's really great. So I'm thinking we could maybe be saving on costs too. Absolutely. Bingo, Absolutely. saving on costs. That's Absolutely. really, that's really yeah. awesome. So it's not too soon to reach out to Absolutely. you. No, no. Touch base with Tony. No. Give him a call. How can they reach you? Well, you can reach me at my, at my uh, cell phone, 813-786-1481. My office number is 727-275-6947. My email is going to be displayed also if you want to reach out via the email. And uh, I'll be more than happy to go over our Baycare Plus Medicare Advantage plan. That's a great way to get a jump start. That's right. So Thank when you. enrollment comes around in October, exactly when in October? October 15th through December 7th is when the annual enrollment starts where anyone can make a, a change with their uh, current health care coverage. Awesome. Thanks, Tony. Well, thank great you so job. much for having me. I appreciate it. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. Hi, everyone. Welcome back into My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of the Tampa Bay community. We are really in the pulse, in the heartbeat, right here in downtown Safety Harbor, right at the Safety Harbor Chamber of Commerce. I'm so excited. We always save the very best for last with you, Susan Peterson, <laughs> so nice. that runs the whole show here and makes things happen for Safety Harbor. I always love doing Safety Harbor. And I told you before, I've always wanted to live in Safety Harbor for all of the amenities, the businesses, and just all of the different events. So what is the latest going on? I think you said, was it Third Friday? Third Friday. We're back with Third Friday. We started in June, um, and it's the Chambers event now. So we're really excited about it, and we are thrilled with the way the merchants have stepped up and participating in it. It's it's so gratifying just to see all that happen. No, by everyone. Yeah. I remember before I took my little hiatus there um, that we were promoting to it coming. Yeah. And everybody was excited then, and now we're in the thick of it. And I, I am just so excited. Everybody's really excited. I was saying earlier on the show with some of our other guest business owners that we were here at 9 o'clock to set up, and the whole community, it was just hopping. It was hopping in here. The parking lots were full. People were having breakfast and enjoying walks and the Safety Harbor Spa. Yeah, the community has really bounced back, you know, after COVID nicely. We're, you know, it's nice to see new businesses opening. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it really is. And I remember even businesses were opening uh, during the challenges. Yes. And surviving and thriving. Mm -hmm. So that that is wonderful. So. Yeah. Walk me through a day at the Chamber of Commerce with Susan Peterson. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Every day is different. Never a dull moment. Um, we do operate the visitor center here at 200 Main Street. Um, you see some of our merchandise here that we sell. So, um, you know, we're, we're kind of the go-to place for souvenirs about Safety Harbor. Um, you know, we do track our visitor walk-ins here, um, and we... Before COVID, had close to 10,000 visitors a year walk into the visitor center. No kidding, really? And, and we're rapidly getting back to that number. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. so it's exciting. But yeah, we have t-shirts. We have some of our newer um, 
colors and styles of t-shirts here. This one has our zip code on it. And this is the brand new blue nice. right here. Nice. Very um, nice. Let me just pick this up and show everybody. Whoops. This one, I love this color. It's so bright. And I love this color, too. And then we also have the V-neck here, yeah. which is always yeah, nice. Yeah, the ladies like the mm -hmm. V-neck. Look at these. These are so great. You know, when, when, this is so touristy, and I love every minute of it. When you go somewhere, <laughs> you have a great place to go. You want to have a, a souvenir, something to remember, and yeah. safety harbor this whole town. If you've never been here, you have no idea what you're missing. I mean, the restaurants and gift shops and everything here. This is really great. What's happening on, can you give us a little sneak peek on Third Friday on, on what some of the vendors and the business owners are going to be doing here? I mean, we we talked about nothing bunt cakes. They're definitely going. Yeah, they're a hit. Um, and it's all about Safety Harbor businesses now. So we're encouraging all the merchants on Main Street to have a presence to kind of spill out into the street that night. A lot of the restaurants have additional seating. Um, some of them actually have an, a booth out for side where you can actually place an order to get food. Um, every block has some live entertainment, which is neat. That's what's bringing all the people here. Oh, I think. the yeah. live. So who, what kind of live entertainment? So on, on the 100 block, Barfly and Screaming Jalapeno go together and put up a stage. Um, and every, every month it's different, different acts. Um, and we have a very diverse... Um, Diverse genres, I should say, of music up and down the street. It's not all, you know, not all rock. Harbor Bar has a stage down there. Basano's Cheesecake puts up a stage. Eighth Avenue uh, Pub, now called the Pub, um, they put up a stage. Um, and we have great sponsors for the event. Oh, nice. The Pub and Rogan and Associates are our presenting sponsors for this, um, this six month kind of a trying a new format. Yeah. Nice, nice. Well, you know, I think a lot of business owners are trying different and new things, new innovative things to, mm -hmm. you know, drum up business, get your attention and things like that. I have a question on the, the bands and the music. Will they be playing at different times? There, it's actually all going on throughout all at the, same throughout time. the four hours, six oh, to ten. Nice. Yeah. Um, but they're spaced far enough apart that they don't compete with each other. Great. And like I said, they're all different genres of music. So you kind of choose, you know, what you want to listen to as you walk up and down the street. And the uh, other cool thing about this whole new format is the street is wet zoned. So you can go purchase your alcoholic beverage at a bar or restaurant in Safety Harbor and walk out uh, up and down the street with it during the event. Ah, very yeah. nice. And there's plenty of restaurants to yeah. to do that with. And uh, the, yeah, the Safety Harbor Spa, there, which uh, Lisa was talking about, some of the great drinks that they have over mm -hmm. there where you can just sit out on the water, um, the tiki bar, yeah. things. I mean, there's just so much here. I don't even think you could see anything in one day. And they do a lot of live entertainment that third Friday night, too. So yeah, 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 they do. Do you have some favorite things that you like to attend? You don't want to. You don't want to single any. Other. I can't do that. <laughs> I bet you do though. That's a tough question. <laughs> I know that good. wasn't fair, was it? <laughs> You'd have to be here all day. <laughs> it's all good, but um, it's it's exciting because it's a bigger event now. It yes. used to just be six blocks. Now it goes all the way up to Harbor Bar, so it's almost nine blocks. Oh, that's a lot. It's a lot, and but there's enough going on that there, you know, it doesn't. Um, disappoint at all and there's a nice flow of traffic yes like nice mm -hmm. flow of guests coming into the community residents come out right sure mm -hmm. which is really awesome if you live here or if you're thinking of coming to live here i probably want to say good luck because yeah. <laughs> we'll have to find you home but if you yeah. choose and come down here and see what's happening in safety harbor i i, I just love this town it's also a family friendly event Yes. At the gazebo, we have Mr. Brad, who was an entertainer that appeals to younger kids. Oh, really? What does um, he do? For the first, he's, he's a musician. He plays all different kinds of instruments, and it's just real interactive with children. Oh. Um, so he's there for the first hour, and then um, we bring in somebody different um, after that. But it's a very family-friendly event. There's something for all ages. So, that, yeah. Now, that go that's going to go on every month. Every third Friday. Yes. Every third mm -hmm. Friday. So that's easy to remember. Every mm -hmm. third Friday. Mm -hmm. Just come on down here. And what are the hours? Six to ten. Six to ten. And Main Street is closed to traffic. Okay. Yeah. So we come in kind of like 
you park where you can find parking and then you <laughs> and walk but it's not bad though so because there is parking there's always a place to park You'll in always safety be able harbor to, yeah exactly <laughs> susan how long have you been with the chamber uh almost eight years now and how long did it take us to get you to do our chamber show i know <laughs> and here we you are know, there was a lot to do i felt very kind of going in many, many, many directions for the first few years to kind of, we needed to build this chamber up into its current um, level of activity and beef up all the chamber benefits for the members. Sure. So there was a lot to do. Sure. And now sure. we can brag about it. <laughs> yes, you absolutely can. And we can feature all the different things on My Chamber TV. We're so, I mean, I it was a long time. We kept saying, we want, got to get Safety Harbor. Got to get Safety Harbor yeah. because we all love this town. Well, we're glad we that love you, the business owners. We're glad you kept at us. We're, <laughs> we never it. quit. It's worth it. Yeah, we never quit. But you need to come and check us out here. And if you're thinking of starting a business, my goodness, this place is really, really happening. I mean, to ha to you know start over or bring your business from another state, so many people moving to Florida for many obvious reasons. I mean, the weather for one. Yeah. You know, it, it, it just does make a difference. And I'm glad the fact that you mentioned that this is uh, family friendly. You'll find a lot mm -hmm. of families, a lot mm -hmm. of events. I love the entertainer that interacts with the kids. They, they have to love that. Now, where is that going to be? At the gazebo, which is kind of the center of Main Street. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, exactly. Between 4th and 5th Avenue. So it's the, it's the center of the whole event. Perfect, perfect. So anything else going on that you can think of that you want to talk about besides Third Friday or we'll wait till next? Maybe we'll wait till next month to preview some things, but um, we're, we're very uh, much into Third Friday right now, making sure it's a good event for everybody. You know, I like that you're concentrating on one main event that just about anybody can participate, right? Yeah. I bet you get filled up with that, with the participants in reserving yes. way ahead of time. Yes, we have a lot of people who want to be in this event. And, we, you know, we've changed the um, criteria a little bit because mm -hmm. we want it to be all about Safety Harbor businesses. So, unfortunately, we have to turn away some businesses that maybe were in the event years and years past. But, um, you know, we want our businesses to thrive, and that's what the Chamber's all about. So mm -hmm. that's what we're doing. Absolutely, and it works. It, it's a working model by being a member of the Chamber. If you have a business here or thinking of it, you need to become a member of the Chamber because this is a happening Chamber. They make it happen for you and with you. They engage you into the community, and it's like one big happy family. Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> I love that. It's just like one big happy family, and you make it happen. This is the hub. This is the main squeeze for the Safety Harbor. We're right in the Safety Harbor Chamber of Commerce. You can see all of the wonderful knickknacks and gift-giving ideas. And if you want to have a souvenir, you will not want for anything. You can get wine toasters here. You have uh, the little coverage here, wine a little, Safety Harbor. I love that. And you have, vi this is just a few things that you can see yeah. with the t-shirts. And then we have more surrounding. And this is a place to go. If you're new here, check it out. Thanks for joining us on My Chamber TV. Thank you, Susan. Thanks, Barbara.